Hi everyone, my name's Ray McKenzie and this is Ray Max 143. From time to time I will be doing a short video on various themes and makes and models from my collection. This includes many die cast and resin models. Today we will be looking at, yes, you guessed it, pickup trucks. So here we go. I'll take a few models from my collection, my favourite ones, and we'll examine them in more detail. This is not a long video, so stay with me and we'll take a look. We're just going to do a quick review of the first cabinet. It won't take very long. On the first row we've got a series of Matchbox pickups from more than two decades ago and uh, these were the original issue of these particular trucks. There is also a couple of Caro Armour uh, Chevy 3100s in there as well. In the top row also an Ertl Swepside Chevy the white truck in the middle. Second row uh, 36 Fords including the very colourful Kodak van with the canopy on it. A couple of Studi Bakers, also very nice. A series of tow trucks, both Matchbox and Kararama. Following two rows, these are all Matchbox issues, again, the exception being the little green 48 Ford Coca-Cola, all with loads as well. And uh, at the bottom there is a row of Dodgers and a couple of power wagons, a couple of rams and the Dodge D100 which you see. Items of particular interest in this cabinet from the top, a couple of rows of vehicles, pickups mostly from South America. And then there's an old Russian pickup from the late 20s. I won't even attempt to pronounce the name. The red one there. Then there's a large Renault tow truck with two 143 figures having a conversation or maybe it's an altercation and a couple of very nice little minor 1000s Morrises from the UK further down of note a Land Rover with trailer stand out next are two Mercedes one is a 170V and the other a 220 and are particularly highly detailed, both from two ends of the spectrum. One from Shuko and one is a part work, but nevertheless they stand together. They're both equally high in quality. And finally at the bottom of note is a cute little Fedisa Romeo from Spain. First on the turntable is a couple of favourites of mine, the 34 International pickup truck from uh, Matchbox. Oh, there's probably a couple of decades or more old. So these models have been around for quite a while. If you can pick one up, I'd grab it. It's got a load on the back. That's what I like to see. After all, what are pickups for? If not to deliver stuff from here to there. The other companion there is a D100 Swipside pickup from Dodge and uh, that model is from Neo. If you've got one of those and if you bought yours in the States it probably came from a firm packaged them under American Excellence. Here we've got a couple of pickup trucks one from Premium X it's a Ford F100 from 1979 and its companion also from Neo, or if you live in the States, American Excellence, that's a C10. Similar date. This pair of models is a pair of lookalikes, in my humble opinion, and uh, you would be forgiven if you couldn't tell the difference between the two at first glance. Very nice. Up next is a pair of models from Matchbox again. The series is two or three decades old. Uh, they stand the test of time to this day. They're excellent. They also have loads on the back. 
which is in keeping with the sign writing on the side of the vehicles themselves. This is a 41 Chevy pickup in the livery of Harley Davidson and from Chevrolet itself there is a 3155 pickup with appropriately a couple of straight sixes on the back. All good. That's all for today folks. Like and subscribe and keep a look out for my next video which will be on a very unusual subject. Thanks for watching.